Hi and welcome to your stress relief class. This is going to feel so good. You can do this at the end of a workout as a cool down or at the end of your day to just relieve all of that stress from your body and mind. I'm gonna be using a bolster. So grab something that you can support your weight on and let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start here on my mat. Like I said, I'm gonna be using a bolster. This one is from Brentwood Home. It's my absolute favorite because it's non-toxic and organic and is also just beautiful in my home. I have a special discount code for you in the description box below, so make sure that you check that out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start in a nice little child's pose. Who doesn't love starting in child's pose, right? So beginning in child's pose, just pull the, uh, the bolster or pillow all the way towards you and just allow your head to rest onto the bolster just like this. Knees are open and close your eyes and just take three deep breaths in and out through the nose, allowing the body to get comfortable now and each breath allows you to become more comfortable. And the more comfortable you become, the more relaxed you become. Releasing any tension through the body with every exhale. Just imagining all that exhale, all the tension just releasing out of the body through the exhale. and take one more big deep breath in and roll on up. And we're gonna take ourselves over to the side. So you're just gonna take a nice little stretch over to reach and release the low back here. So just extend over. And I'm just kinda organically feeling into this, stretching over to the left side, really opening up the right side of my shoulders, lats, ribs, low back. And take a big inhale in, and I want you to imagine the ribs on your back body expanding wide with the breath. Allowing the breath to actually stretch your muscles even deeper. Good, and let's go to the other side. Reach over, extend through the left arm now. And really feel that stretch, that big arc happening from your pinky all the way down to your hips. And then take an inhale in, let the expansion happen with the breath and stretch the muscles even deeper. Good, and then come on up. We're gonna take the bolster, we're gonna have it be this way now and you're gonna take a puppy pose. So you can either do it with your hands here on the bolster like this and the forehead comes down or you can take a little bit deeper and you can take the elbows on here and let the forehead come down. And then I like to bring my hands back towards my back so you can actually feel your spine with your thumb. And this is really nice for opening up the triceps, the shoulders, of course your posture. This is really good for rounded shoulders. So just take deep breaths here. Really letting everything just kind of sink down, especially in the belly. I know we hold a lot of tension there and most of the time when we're working out we engage it, but this is a time where you can really just let everything go. And then take one more deep breath in right here. And release that out, good. Now take the bolster to the side, place the hands down. And we're just gonna take a few cat-cows here. So lift the chest up towards the sky and then push the floor away. And close your eyes and I just want you to connect with your whole being right now. Noticing how you feel, noticing 
the relaxation and comfort that is moving all around and all through you. And then tuck those toes underneath you. And then you're just going to press those hips back, keep those arms nice and long, and then just gently press up into a down dog. It doesn't have to be super straight here. You can keep the knees a little bit bent. Pedal out the feet if that feels good for you. Just letting the blood flow, noticing how we're now in an inversion. Letting the blood flow all the way down and around through your head. This is really good for us to just go upside down a little bit. Not only change perspective, but to just let that blood circulate in a different direction. Really strengthens your body. Good, now we're gonna roll forward nice and slow and easy into a nice little lazy upward dog with the legs down on the ground, but the toes are still tucked under. Feel that nice stretch across the front of the body. And then we're gonna come all the way back to downward dog. This feels so, so good. It's like a whole full body massage. So let's do that three more times. Inhale in, roll all the way through, really connecting down with your hands and your feet. Still continuing with the breathing and releasing every exhale, releasing any tension. Just asking yourself, do I need this tension in my body right now? And if the answer is no, then just let it go. back to downward facing dog. And then bit by bit, we're just going to walk those feet up so that we end up in a forward fold and just walk in a way that's good for you. And then come to like a wide forward fold so where the feet are a little bit wider than hips, almost to the width of your mat. And then grab opposite elbows, take a slight little bend in the knees and just allow yourself to sway gently like a nice little tree just kind of swaying in the wind, just really gently here. And then ground your toes and your feet even more and release even more tension throughout the body. Good, and then there's a tendency for everything to just release and open as you breathe even deeper. Just allowing the swaying to kind of take on its own rhythm, nice and slow, as the vertebrae separate from each other releasing and opening. Good, and then release the hands down towards the ground and then take that bolster and just put it right in between your legs so that you can sit all the way down onto it, like a little yogi squat right here. And then we're gonna take a twist. So you're going to reach the right hand in front of your right knee and just allow yourself to twist open here Oh, this feels really good. So I'm pressing my hand into the knee, both of them, my elbow into the knee, hand to the knee so that I can really twist and look up. So a nice inner thigh, groin stretch and low back stretch as well as we twist. Good, and let's go to the other side. Place the hand down, press the elbow into the knee and then use the other hand to press the knee open as well. Twist and look up. And when we go into these stretches, it's important to make sure that you breathe into the stretch. The breath can really help to release the tension and open up the muscles. Good, and release right there. Go ahead and come all the way forward now. <clears throat> and you're gonna just lie all the way back 
onto your back. Good, so you wanna make sure that your head is on the pillow here. And then we're just going to release the hands open and just let the knees sway side to side. I love this one because this one really helps to just release in the low back. And then you can feel how the chest just opens as well. So again, this is really good for posture, reversing all that slouching that we're usually doing. Good, and then let the knees knock towards each other and release, keep the hands exactly where they are. And we're just gonna hold here for a couple of breaths. Really let gravity take over here. Just let the arms sink into the floor and the ground. Really root yourself into the earth beneath you. Feel that connection. Anytime we connect with earth, the ground, nature, it can really, really help you to physically and mentally ground yourself almost as though your back is on the dirt or grass. Imagine your favorite kind of outdoor nature and your back is on the earth and you feel balanced and secure, just like how the earth feels balanced and secure. Good, and then reach the arms up overhead. Take a nice big inhale in. And exhale. We're gonna come on up and just kind of move the bolster a little bit in front of you now. So that we can lay back just like this. So now your hips are more elevated onto the bolster like this. And you have a more downward slope down to the uh, shoulders. Good, and now we're gonna pull the knees in towards our chest. Give yourself a nice little hug here. And then release the left leg straight out in front of you. Keep the right knee in towards your chest. Feel that nice hip stretch in the front of your body. Feel how your back and head is now rooted into the earth. And close your eyes if you haven't yet. And then grab onto the right foot and just kind of let the foot open like a half uh, happy baby pose. So you're just kind of pressing that knee down and back, opening up the hips. Just nice little gentle rocking back and forth. Good, and let's switch sides. So pull the other knee in towards your chest. Feel how the top of the uh, hip flexor can really stretch out while we're elevated up on the bolster. And then you're gonna take the hand onto the top of the foot like a little half happy baby pose. And just kind of rock a little bit, pressing the knee closer towards the earth. And then releasing, pressing into the earth and then releasing. Good, and then bring both knees in and then just take a little happy baby pose right here. Kind of rocking side to side. Opening up those inner thighs, the groin. If you'd like, you can take an even further stretch, a little straddle stretch here. Good, and then release the legs down. And then we're gonna come into our final pose here. And so you can choose where you wanna go. And you can either keep yourself exactly where you are like this, 
or if you'd like, you can go back into the pose we were before, or another one is you can put the bolster underneath your knees. I'm gonna go back to the one that we were before because that's the one that I like, where my arms are open because I can get a nice little chest stretch here. <laughs> Just try to stay nice and relaxed as you get comfy. I'm gonna just let my legs open up into a nice little butterfly stretch here. So this is a great one. Find your position, because we're gonna hold this for a couple of minutes here. Find a position that you can completely relax as I guide you through a complete relaxation from the top of your head down to the toes and as your attention draws to your toes, you notice all the little muscles releasing and relaxing from your toes to your heels, calves to knees, thighs, hips, solar plexus. All of it just releases and lets go. Traveling up through the chest and the heart, feeling a warm, nurturing sensation across the upper back, the lower back, and the pelvis, the thighs, the calves, back down around the feet again. All around the crown area of your head, down through the facial muscles, all releasing. And as you become more comfortable, the deeper you go, and the deeper you go, the more comfortable you become. And as you are here connected to the earth, connected into your body, you feel this immense amount of inner peace residing deep within and you connect to the sensation of inner peace and trust. And you allow this sensation of trust to fill up your whole being, every cell of your being has a sensation of trust whatever that means for you. Trust in the future, trust in the present moment, trust in yourself and the decisions that you make. And all of this sensation allows you to feel incredibly calm and comfortable within. And you realize that right now is all that matters. And anytime you can feel a sense of inner peace and calmness, you cannot feel stressed at the same time. And you allow the sensations to just take over your whole being. And as you rest here, you allow the sensations to take hold as you rest and relax, realizing that there is growth in the relaxation. There's growth in knowing when to push yourself and there's growth in knowing when to relax and to release just as you are right now. So you can return to life more equipped, refreshed, and stronger than ever before. And let's reach the arms up overhead, really long stretch, and then stretch the legs out in front of you. 
big, big stretch as if you're waking up for the very first time again. And slowly roll over to your side and make your way up to the top of your mat. And let's do a little count out for ourselves so that you can fully awake from this really relaxing session together. So just in your mind, you're gonna count up from one, two, three, four, five, Open up your eyes. Eyes open wide awake. One, two, three, four, five. Eyes open wide awake. Amazing job today. I'm so glad that you're taking care of your body and this is available for you to come back to time and time again to release stress and so that you can get back to you and be your best self every single day. All right, see you in the next video. Bye.